So let's convert grams of CO2 to moles. So we're going from grams to moles for this carbon dioxide here. We have 23.4 grams of carbon dioxide. That's just a number I made up for the problem. So it's kind of helpful to think about when we convert from grams to moles or moles to grams to just remember when we're going from moles to grams here, we're going to multiply by the molar mass, and that would be of the compound, in this case CO2. But here we're going from grams to moles. So instead of multiplying, we're going to do the opposite. Grams to moles, we divide here by the molar mass. So we'll divide our 23.4 by the molar mass of CO2. The molar mass of CO2 right here, that's 44.01 grams per mole. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of the video how to find the molar mass for CO2. So we take our 23.4 grams, and we said we're going grams to moles for CO2. We're just going to divide this by the molar mass of CO2, which we said was 44.01 grams per mole. That's the units for molar mass. So now when we divide, we have grams here and here. They cancel out and we'll be left with moles. And 23.4 divided by 44.01, we get 0.5. 32 moles, and that's moles of carbon dioxide. So that's how you do it. There is one other way we can convert from grams of CO2 to moles using dimensional analysis or the factor label method. Let me show you that real quickly. A lot of teachers seem to like that method. So we take our grams, we're going to multiply that by a conversion factor. And we know that we have grams here. So we want grams on the bottom so they cancel out, just like last time. That means we'll have moles on the top. And from the molar mass, we know that we have 44.01 grams for one mole of CO2. So we multiply and then we divide. The grams cancel out just like last time. And we get the same answer, 0 0.532 moles of carbon dioxide. So that's the other way you could do it. Dr. B, converting grams of carbon dioxide to moles. Thanks for watching.